It's so exciting to have the fabulous Wayne Goss here in the studio with me today. I'm now going to show him how to get the dreamy, dewy Victoria Beckham cover look. So darling, we'll be mad about Victoria Beckham. We love her. You love the Allure cover that I did. And I said to you, well, look, let me just show you how to get the look because obviously I use lots of Naughty Charlotte Tilbury products. Fabulous. And, and how to get that kind of dewy, gorgeous skin and that sort of beautiful colour communion, rich, glossy eye that I did on her. Gorgeous. And I'm going to tell you about the new product that I've got coming, my film stars on the go, with mirror makeup. Slightly exciting, <laughs> I'm not going to lie. So I've used the magic cream, which I cannot live without. And what it does is it just plumps it up and makes it all youthful and gets rid of any lines, so you get that incredible glow. It's very comforting for your skin. You'd use the magic cream, yeah, you, darling. Yeah, love it. Magic cream was the backstage secret it, for it, many years, I Exactly. Believe. I mean, it basically developed its own name. I didn't call it magic cream. It was the celebrities and the supermodels. So now I'm going to pop on Wonder Glow to use this product as well, the Wonder Glow. Because um, men and women are potty about this product. It's a youth um, elixir with a little bit of um, this new technology called fluorescent core, you know, kind of takes sunlight, re emits it through the skin. And the skincare benefits, same as with the magic cream. Yeah. Or if this is skincare basically with just this kind of pearl effect that just gives you this fluorescent core technology. With products that have any reflection in or shimmer in, sometimes, um, you know, when foundation goes over them, they can look a bit metallic. Yes. Whereas this doesn't, the foundation goes over and there is a glow to the foundation it, as opposed yes. to there being lots of shimmer radiating all over the face. So number six, foundation, light wonder foundation, I, I'm mad about because it just feels so breathable and light. It's very skin-like. Yeah, it is. But I love this brush because it really buffs it into the skin. Yeah, I'm pleased. I'm very pleased with them. Thank Fantastic, you. Fantastic, you're the brush. And you've done that with the best brush factory in the world, haven't you? We have indeed. So, yes, we keep it all a top secret. Yes. We don't speak of it. We don't speak of it, darling. <laughs> So I'm going to start by using my retoucher. I'm going to pop that in the inner corner of the eyes and underneath the eyes, and that will instantly lighten and brighten the entire area. And it'll get rid of any dark circles and just sort of canvas it and make it look beautifully even. And this is just for? This is just to kind of, just to even out any little kind of blemishes. Just using a little brush. Talk me through brows. Brows are the pillars of the face, and if you can see that basically what I'm trying to do is kind of mimic that with we're trying to do the Victoria Beckham look, and she's got a fantastic pair of brows. But also what I did do on that Allure shoot is I did, even with her gorgeous brows, they've got a lot thicker, but we're actually kind of just filling them in to make them look more intense and a little bit more lifted. And they've been elongated slightly oh, exactly. as well. Exactly, and I did the same on Victoria Beckham. Next I'm going to use my life-changing eyelash curlers. Get right in and nestle and hold that. Get right down to the base of the lash and that will instantly give the eye a lift. And it will open up the eyes and make the eyes look instantly kind of bigger. This colour chameleon pencil, right, it's fantastic and I'm sure you, and I, in fact I know you use these. So it lasts 14 hours and then just doesn't come off. And they do last. And they do last. And with the colour chameleons, would you always colour match as in the opposite to the eye colour? No, I don't think you have to. It's up to you. I mean, my eyes are green, grey, blue, but the fact that I then put on the kind of amber haze literally makes my eyes stand out. Now, darling, tell me, how did your YouTube journey start? I think there was a gap in the market for a middle-aged man oh. to, <laughs> to do a YouTube channel. I thought that there was all these really, really talented artists on YouTube, yeah. but none of them were explaining what to do. They were doing amazing makeup, yeah. but there was no instruction. That's where I sort of stepped in and broke it down into really simple bite-sized chunks. So. I think I was able to explain things very clearly and that made my channel quite popular. I'm going to use the Rock and Cold Black Eyeliner. We're just going to kind of pop that upwards and outwards on the outer corner. But I'm popping that right the way along the lash line, all the way, just to, again, give that depth and sort of intensity to the eye. We're doing it just on top of the eyelids and then we're going to use chocolate brown inside the eye. So you still get the same intensity, but it kind of is a little bit, because you've got green eyes, so the chocolate will actually make it look a little bit softer and will pop the green even more and it will make it open up a little bit more rather than putting black all the way around. And this is a feline trademark. Yeah, trademark, feline, feline flick. It's all very cohesive. Like, and yeah, it's, it's like the eyes light up, the skin lights up, everything's lit from within. Right, so a bit of Barbarella Brown. Um, look up for me, and then we're just going to pop that in the waterline. And again, it just gives you that intensity, but in a softer 
little bit more dreamy way, and it opens up the eye having black on the top and chocolate inside. So it's not so stark. Exactly, and it still makes it look a little bit bigger because the softer colour. I'm now going to use my full fat lashes mascara, and I'm going to get that right into the base of the lashes. It really does give you that kind of full side lash flutter. Do you think that the number one mistake that women make with mascara is they don't put enough on? Oh my it's God, like darling. One coat. Never enough. Like, no, then you've got 17 more coats to do. No, exactly. That's why I'm always like, okay, just put a little bit more on. I'm popping just a little bit more. You know, once you sort of get the mascara on, you think, oh, actually, I could add a little bit more intensity underneath. It can make a little bit more smudgy dramatic. You know, because I do love a little sort of soft shadow underneath the eyes because it makes it kind of, you know, it gives that sort of. I just love how strong the eyes look suddenly. How, how green the eyes look. Yeah, the look. intensity of it. So darling, now I'm going to pop a little bit of my Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder and I'm just going to pop that down the centre because we talked about precision powder, which we love. I'm doing it with your really beautiful brush. It's just gorgeous like velvet, this. Stunning. Beautiful, really, the quality of your brushes is, is really quite amazing. Now I'm going to pop on the Filmstar Bonds and Glow. You know, we talked about contouring and how much we love a little bit of contouring. I'm just going to pop a little bit of that on there. Follow the hollow. Gorgeous. This product is my new product that nobody has seen, which is called Filmstar's On The Go. I'm just popping that on with a finger and literally dabbing that in the centre of the eye. It does give it a more wet look, doesn't it? Yeah, more dewiness, a little bit more intensity but then you still got, you see the chameleons in, that keep it in place underneath, so it's kind of a good way to trick that look. So I'm gonna pop a little bit of the Breakfast at Tiffany's blush, just to kind of warm up it. Again, it's like really peachy and light, and just, it's so great, look, it's so pretty, and you can just pop that on the top of the cheekbones. It's very summery, isn't it? Very summery, and really pretty, you know, people never, you know, Blush is just so great because it just does immediately kind of make you look happier and healthier, doesn't it? So then also with this, it's a lip and cheek product. So with this Breakfast at Tiffany's, you can just pop that. Just look, snap it on. Snap it on the lips. It's your quick wear mirror makeup on the way to school run. Now I'm going to show you this iconic nude lip liner. And it's great this um, actually, I sort of did this for Kate Moss really. When I was doing a lot of photo shoots, and a lot of models actually. We'd always want a lip liner that looked like the lips, so it really didn't look like they were wearing lip liner, but kind of cheated a bigger, better lip shape. And so I came up with Iconic Nude, and it's really fantastic, because it does sort of mimic natural pigment one has in one's lips, but by still kind of making them look kind of more luscious and gorgeous. I'm gonna pop on now the Nude Kate, and this was named in homage to Kate Moss. This is just so gorgeous, that kind of beige lip. It doesn't make you look too dead, still alive. Gorgeous. So there you have it, darling, the gorgeous, ethereal, magical Victoria Beckham cover look. Fabulous, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you so much. Gorgeous. <laughs>